A South Asian Canadian channel. Hi, this is Priyanka Chopra, and you are watching Channel Y. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media has newspaper, midweek, radio, South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. अब हर दिन सुने जीटीए का नंबर वन रेडियो स्टेशन एफ एम नाइनटी वन दोपहर बारह से शाम छह बजे तक टेलीविजन यू आर वॉचिंग चैनल वाई चैनल प्राइम मिनिस्टर वेलकम इट्स बी बैक ऑनलाइन साउथ एशियन डेली डॉट कॉम द बिगेस्ट साउथ एशियन मीडिया ग्रुप वाई मीडिया This part of the program is brought to you by Midweek Newspaper, published every Tuesday. You are watching Channel Y, Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Hi, this is Priyanka Chopra, and you are watching. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and Y Media welcomes you to Channel Y. Today we have a very special show for you, Raymond's Canada, a brand we are all aware of, but they are having their campaign, Diversity is the Fabric of Canada. This is a campaign that is representing cultures, and they have picked seven inspiring women that are each going to represent a culture and into the company. They each got to actually pick a clothing piece and put a pattern onto it, and we are lucky enough to be talking to Sandy Gill today. She is a stylist, a teacher. She is one of the seven inspiring women that Raymond have chosen and today we're going to be speaking with her she is representing the South Asian Punjabi community and we have her on the line hello Sandy Gill how are you hi I'm well thank you so much for having me Rebecca yes, of course and if you just want to tell us a bit about yourself to start off sure I'm first and foremost I'm an elementary school teacher so I teach grade two and three in uh, Toronto and I Aside from that, I run my own styling business. I have a clothing line, and I just uh, make noise in the fashion space. Oh wow, she's yeah. saying just, but that is a lot to do. And on top of that, just being a teacher on its own is a job that's crazy on its own. So with Raymond's Canada, there's more than 250 stores across the country, and Canada it's one of the most loved apparel for women. And it's with many accessories and clothing brands. And if you just want to tell us a bit about being an ambassador with the campaign of diversity of fabric, absolutely. So uh, Raymond is doing a campaign where they've selected seven women across Canada who represent different cultures. And as you know, as a Canadian, diversity is. the fabric of canada literally i know that's the tagline but even more so than that like it truly is the the fabric of canada and it's what makes canada canada um and so to be chosen as one of the ambassadors is just such a um such a humbling experience but also just i'm super grateful to be able to be one of the women to represent my people um mm. punjabis and you know south asians it's so important for women to walk into a store and see themselves represented um and especially a store like Reitman's that's you know women have shopped there for so many years and women of all ages and it's just it's such a staple store in canada and um to have them represent what canada truly is is so important and it's such a it's such an important step Yes, 100%. And speaking of importance, you also mentioned that you were a teacher. And to me personally, I think being a teacher is one of the most important jobs, especially for the grades that you're teaching and in Toronto, such a diverse community. So, I want to know as a teacher, how do you include that into your studies of, you know, talking about diversity and inclusion with the students? Absolutely. So, it's it's so important like right off the bat have these conversations with children at a young age um especially knowing that like it wasn't as common for me growing up and um knowing that right now we have the tools we have everything to be able to have these conversations with ch children at a young age explaining to them um that there's so many different types of beautiful people in the world and we should always be accepting them embracing them and celebrating them and that that's what makes the world beautiful So I think um it's important to do that and I do that through teaching lessons and teaching them lessons on diversity itself and also focusing on different cultures. I try to celebrate every type of um holiday or celebration that is on the calendar for any type of um 
culture, background, and I try to share that with my students and try to, you know, make it a, a conversation. Yeah, I, I love that idea that you celebrate everything that's on the calendar because I know sometimes even me personally, I'll look on the calendar and be like, oh, that's that day, but I don't actually know the meaning behind it. So that's very much appreciative as a teacher because I know some people even say some students see their teachers more than they see their own parents. So if you're someone in their life that's you know showing them these types of skills, it's very much important. And onto the shirt that you got to design a pattern for, how did you put your Punjabi heritage onto that and reflecting that onto the pattern? Well, I'm actually wearing the shirt right now, so oh, nice. I'll just move back. So this is the design, and as you can see, there's very clearly two beautiful South Asian women. Um, no faces to kind of show that, you know, it could be anybody's face. And just the colors, the print, when I was approached with this um, as a stylist, as a designer, my first question was, what do I want to see? Or what do I see when I think about South Asian women? Um, and I think about power, I think of strength, I think of resilience, um, and I think of color. So I think for me, it was important to bring out those things in the design, especially color, texture, fabric, like, you know, Indian women, South Asian women love their fabrics and they love to dress up. And so I wanted to show that in the shirt, but also stay true to my Punjabi roots and showcase things like, you know, farming, kheti, um, and the different prints that I grew up seeing being a Punjabi woman, I, you know, seeing the Fulkari, seeing um, how, you know, the Fulkaris are, are passed down through de generations and just uh, that being a print that I just kept seeing growing up so these were the different things that were just representative of of my identity and i wanted them to be reflected in the shirt but also for other women when they step into the store i wanted them to see themselves in the shirt and see that you know this is these are my people Hmm. I know, and especially I feel like you said, even growing up, we didn't get to learn about that. But also, I feel like going into stores, and that's what I really appreciate that Raymond's is doing because even for me, still going into stores, I'll look into something, and you know, there's always designs, and especially for young girls going into stores, seeing a design that that's something that they can represent to or even relate to in any way is just so beautiful to see. And I love that you say that you love to keep your Punjabi heritage with a lot of the stuff that you do. So, what would you say out of the Punjabi culture is something that you want to maintain with you for? Or your life? Um, I think, I mean, being Punjabi is definitely like the core of who I am. And certain things just as a child being taught and just hearing and, and just being these things being instilled in me, such as like learning, Sikhi, just being a Sikh and being a lifelong, lifelong learner is one of the things I want to take with me forever. And just knowing that every day you have the opportunity to learn and grow and to share that learning with others. And that I think is one of the most important things of being a Punjabi, just always being open to learn and also um, being uh doing service to others, you know, seva. Um, I'm sure like we hear that word so often and it's literally the root of our culture, service to others. And I think this for me is one way of me serving my community, um, but also just it's one thing that I want. I try to continuously remind myself and um, I want it to be something that I keep in my life forever. Wow, we love to hear that. And Raymond's Kanda, actually, with the seven women that have chosen to be a part of this campaign, they also got to choose a foundation and charity that they got to donate some of the proceeds from the clothing pieces from Raymond's to. So, Sandy Gill, if you would just like to explain the foundation that you chose and why it was so important to you. Yes, so um, the proceeds from this concert, um, and on my behalf, like we're going to be donating to Save a Food Bank, which is a uh, organization in the Greater Toronto area, and they are it's a sick uh, led. Uh, foundation and it's basically just works to help people meet their daily needs. Um, anybody who's in the GTA who is unable to meet their daily needs can reach out to Save a Food Bank to get food um, and get any other supplies that they might need to just make it through um, and to make things a little bit easier. So um, with the proceeds of this t-shirt, we are going to be donating to Save a Food Bank. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. We're very excited too. And once again, thank you so much, Raitmans, for even wanting to do this. And not only just get these women involved with this and, you know, other people getting to be a part of it with the clothing, but of course, those in need. So thank you so much to Raitmans Canada again. And how can Canadians, especially South Asian Canadians, um, support you and this campaign? Yeah, I think absolutely. Like the, the one thing that I want to stress is like, 
to celebrate this. This is such a huge step for us. Um, you know, we're we're gonna be in the stores. We're gonna we're gonna have our faces like in in like a legit store. I think that's such a huge feat for us, and we should celebrate it. We should celebrate it. We should share this. We should um, and and then we should if we can purchase the shirt because again the money goes back into the community and that's so important so i think some of the best ways to support this is of course share it um share the news tell your friends tell your aunts tell anybody that you know would want to rock this shirt and um purchase it <laughs> and support yeah, raymond sure. Yes, support Raymond's and support Sandy Gill. Thank you so much. I love that you said celebrate because, of course, during our rough times that we've all been going through lately, I think, you know, something celebrating over something that a culture and diversity that people have been split against for so many years, this is something we can truly celebrate. It's not just a shirt. It's a big movement that we are getting put into stores. So it's, you know, more than a shirt. So thank you so much, Sandy Gill and Raymond's, once again, for taking the time and having this campaign be done. We appreciate you and we very much appreciate you you know representing us south asians but not only south asians a punjabi woman which i personally very much appreciate and i'm sure many young women and women period would very much appreciate as well so thank you so much sandy gill thank you so much for having me and for sharing our story oh of course thank you so much and we will see you next time and of course we will see these lovely shirts in stores once we are able to go into malls and get them as well thank you so much i am rebecca you're watching channel one time you are watching channel y channel y a south asian canadian channel hi this is priyanka chopra and you're watching channel y the biggest south asian media group y media y media, y media. Y media has newspaper midweek radio South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Ab har din sune GTA ka number one radio station FM 91.9 dopahar 12 se sham 6 baje tak. Television. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. You are... Prime Minister, welcome. It's a pleasure to be back. Online southasiandaily.com. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Why?